Hey, yo. How you doing? Gonna play some animal game for just a little bit. Today's been a busy day. Oh, so you're back, huh, hippie? July 24th, 2021, and 6.57, and time has drifted a little bit. You gonna get started? Yeah. Who are you? I'm Dust. Just Ptolemy. Mudge. It's already like dark. God, J Japan, what time do you go to bed? Okay, that should be good. Okay, what? I haven't played in an obnoxious amount of time. How much mail do I got? Oh, okay, not that much, actually. Okay, that's that's good, honestly. I was worried about that. Okay, museum. Museum. So we can uh just we can just toss these out. We can get rid of that to opinion discarded. Well actually we may want to keep them for extra inventory slots now that I think about it. Ah, uh, from home. My dear Dustin, there's an old saying that you can save three bells by waking up early, but me, I'd pay ten just to be able to sleep late. I do love my beauty rest. Yeah, I haven't played this in a little bit because my sleep schedule is god-awful. But I figure, you know, I, sh I should probably check in. The Trilobite, Mammoth Torso, and Apato Torso. Probably gonna be three million weeds. Yep, so far the math is adding up. I mean, I guess I haven't played in about a month. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Okay. After we get these weeds here, we'll see what old Nook has for sale today. Longer than a month? Uh, well, my apologies then. Of course, Dust, <laughs> Dust Stream Island is also having a bad time. Ah, oh, how do you like your new house? You have inspected it, haven't you? Not that it needs inspection. Must be nice having such spacious living quarters. A real step up from your former lodgings, hmm? Now then, we come to the thorny issue of the bill. Remodeling isn't exactly cheap, as you know. When we had that dry rot issue and there was that mammal strike, it comes to a total of 148,000 bells. A little pricey, I know, but that's the market. Oh, but don't worry about paying me back immediately. You can continue to pay it off through the post office like before. It's no problem. Debt builds character, hmm? You can take your time paying it off too. I won't go breathing down your neck or anything, ho ho. I look forward to doing business with you again soon, yes? I do hope so. Ah, cruddy. Still doesn't have the freaking fishing rod. I, I need a fishing rod. Don't have an axe yet, though. Don't really need an axe, but eh, I'll pick it up. Watch, he's gonna give me a lecture about how to use it. This is, you know, this is totally standard Animal Crossing stuff. Watch, he's about to say, don't chop down trees willy-nilly. Uh, 
It's like, yeah, I need a fishing rod. I need to play more often so I can get the fishing rod at least. Oh, have I caught one of them? I hate. I hate. <laughs> what? Just, just in general. Oh, we've got to weed everything out. And don't think we don't know how to weed them out. Oh wait, can I catch this guy? Yeah, there we go. No idea if I've caught one of these before. The newer games make it a bit more obvious. Like, for instance, the newer games will have a little owl, like, New Horizons at least, will have a little owl icon next to ones you've already donated. Which is very useful. Sure do wish this one had that, but that's what I get for playing video games older than the dawn of time. Okay, it's not that one. Oh. <laughs> and unlike New Horizons, you don't even get paid for doing this. You can't even save them and get money. You're just doing it because everyone will moan at you if you don't. Nerd duck. What sort of weirdness are you up to every night? Seriously, Teehee. Isn't it kind of strange that we haven't met up in like a bunch of weeks? What? Are you seriously saying that I was just spacing out the entire time? No way. Hey, did you want something or what, Teehee? Can I ask you a question? Um, which of these best describes you, Dustin? Um... Oh, a party animal, huh? Then what's your birthday? Oh. Okay, okay. I don't know. Totally tell we're gonna get along super. I'll probably be seeing a lot more of you from now on. Tee okay, okay. You know, actually, I, now I'm not sure how this all works, but now that I've entered my birthday in there, I might be able to quit and reload the game and have the birthday stuff appear, whatever it is. Also, hey Isaac. We don't talk uh, we don't talk about Amiibo festival. We don't talk about that. I'll be real with you, I have totally forgotten who was in my town. Besides Nerd Duck. <laughs> and I only remember that because he is a duck that is also a nerd. Okay, let's load back in. Okay, I don't remember you. Were you in the town before? <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of thing that happens when you don't play the game for a month. <laughs> when you play play it for two or three sessions and then drop it for a month. I'm sorry about that. Like I said, the main re Oh, there we go. There we go. The main reason I haven't done it is because my sleep my sleep schedule is so awful. I I've been <laughs> some days waking up at like 4 p.m. and that's not good. Not good. I need to quit doing that. Happy birthday! I've got a little present for my special destiny. 
I don't like to give my bestest friends their birthday presents in person. Like the rah rah. Okay, so there we go. So, what'd she give me? Donkey Kong. So, this is a neat little thing you can. Ah, oh, Roach! Roach! Ah! Radio! Yeah, so we have a little bit of an infestation. This is what happens when you don't play for like 80 years. You gotta deal with it. Roaches are like the most disgusting creature on God's green earth. Excuse me. Check. 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 Uh. uh. When did I get an apple clock? I don't remember having that. Well, my house is bigger, so I can move some things around. Oh yeah, this is some penis music if ever I've heard any. We might be good. We might be... We might be all roached out. Please never say that again. It's a meme. So... Yeah, so you get a little NES with, with Donkey Kong on it. But here's the thing you can do. Would you like to play Donkey Kong? Yes. Mm. Arcade Assortment 2! Nah, this is the NES version. It's really fuzzy. Nintendo has put some kind of bilinear filter on it. Oh, I'm okay somehow. <laughs> Retcon the pie level for most people's memory <laughs> memories. Yeah. What is the pie level? Uh, there's a level in the arcade version of Donkey Kong that's not present in most home ports. Where there's like trays of cement. Or something like that. That Mario has to jump over, but due to their resemblance to a certain confectionery, people call it the pie level. And yeah, for some reason that's just not in most versions of the game. So yeah, I guess this is unofficial Dustin plays the NES version of Donkey Kong. So, yo dog, I heard you like streams. So we put a stream in your stream so you can watch while you watch. So yeah, Animal Crossing has a lot of these that you can collect, including a few that I don't believe were ever obtainable through any legitimate means.
Oh, there was a special version with the pie one added back in? Hmm. Is there, a, is there a ROM of that on the internet? Because I wouldn't mind putting that on, like, my flash cart and having that available. I mean, I'd, I'd buy it officially, but, you know, we all know how that would go these days. Remember the Mario 25th one? I do, I do. Yeah, it, it wasn't a very extensive hack, but it was a hack. Donkey Kong Original Edition. Astounding. Simply astounding. Oh, oh, oh! I, I thought those fell slightly more to the right. <laughs> I was pre-installed on the special edition, limited edition Wii. Blah 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 wow blah 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 wow blah 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 wow Honestly Oh Honestly I, I wish there was more of that. I would uh I would enjoy seeing more like re-releases of old games like that with with added feature. Added pie. Yeah, play Donkey Kong with the GameCube D-pad. Dr. Wario as a standalone release. Yeah, it's kind of funny because they have had the idea of doing standalone versions of WarioWare minigames. Because Pyoro got released on DSiWare. And I mean, it, it, it was a little bit of a ripoff, maybe. But I still enjoyed it. I was like one frame away from dying. This is fitting, considering you're playing DK94 soonish. Well, soonish by my terms. <laughs> In anyone else's terms, it might still be a while, I don't know. Not a ripoff, a defictionalization. It can be both. Oh, oh dear, I'm, I'm in trouble. Also, I can't collect that umbrella for some reason. Okay. Got one life. Oh, when the Genesis version of Super Street Fighter 2 came out on Wii Virtual Console, they added Netplay. That's sick. That probably does not work anymore. Yeah, Wii Virtual Console was like super extra. And it kind of makes... Nintendo's subsequent offerings look kind of lame in comparison. I mean, even though that's not really Nintendo, I guess. That's Capcom. But like on Nintendo's service, you know. You know! I mean, Star Tropics had the, 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 you could dip the letter in the water virtually. Switch Online doesn't have that. So there's literally no way to beat Switch uh, Switch Online Star Tropics without using the internet <laughs> or having a strategy guide from the 80s or something. I mean, couldn't they have just hacked out that part if they didn't want to? I mean, of course, the whole idea is that they didn't want to put in any effort. You know, but oh, they could have hacked it out, you know, just like create a version of the Star Tropics ROM where he doesn't ask for the code. Okay, also, I'm dead.
Do you think they would have made that years ago? Look, I mean, for, for all I talk about Star Tropics not getting any respect, Nintendo has had a fairly consistent track record of re-releasing that game. So I will say uh, thank you, Nintendo, for that. Could be worse. I'm, it, it was on the Wii. I'm pretty sure it was on the Wii U and it's on Switch Online. Is Star Tropics good? <laughs> Is Star Tropics good, she says. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. I was about to say, asking me... Oh, and it was on the NES Classic, that's true. Asking me if Star Tropics is good is about, like, asking Ronald McDonald if you should order a Big Mac. He's gonna say yes. Even if you really shouldn't, he's gonna tell you that you should. Of course, Ronald McDonald isn't actually real. Because McDonald's killed him years ago. Yeah, what I'm saying is, play Star Tropics with a Big Mac as God intended. You know, you know Mike eats those. You, you know if it wasn't for copyright, he would absolutely have big ol' chicken McNugget. Because America. Whenever I use a guide in games, I feel slightly guilty. I mean, I I feel you. I, I feel you on that one, but on the other side of things, you also gotta keep in mind that a lot of times, old video games were developed specifically with these kind of you-need-a-guide moments. I, I believe it was something to do with they were trying to uh, curb the rental scene. So they, they were basically saying, uh, we're, we're gonna make this game super hard and obtuse so that you can't beat it in one sitting. And therefore, therefore you gotta, you know, you either gotta rent it again or you gotta wink, wink, nudge, nudge, buy the game. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, I'll be honest, I felt a little guilty about asking for help at the end of Pac-Man 2, but also I figured I was really close to the end. A second stream of that game wouldn't have been super satisfying. You know, and I, I didn't want to spend an additional hour looking for the code. Because, I mean, admittedly, looking behind Looking behind the ghost uh, pans is kind of obtuse, so I don't feel that bad, but I mean, obviously I would have preferred to have beaten it without help, but anyway, this is something I've been waiting to do. Uh, uh, no. This is, <laughs> I haven't been waiting to do that. Bury this in a golden spot and you get that. What is that? You don't get to know yet. Uh, my bottle of Pepsi was making arcane noises. Probably didn't pick up on... <laughs> probably didn't pick up on the microphone, but it was... It was quite terrifying. It sounded like electrical interference. Oh, no lost items. Dustin say, get Pepsi, get Big Mac, get Chicken McNugget. Yeah, you, you know, it, it, it might become apparent to you why I, <laughs> why I am Fatty McDonald's. I, I need to eat healthier. <laughs> but it's my birthday, so that's not going to happen today. 
Is it the gravitational pull of the pet? The uh, mosquito. Uh, uh. Anyway, I ended up picking up a Retro Tank 5X today as my big old birthday thing. I, I think I've told most of y'all, but just in case. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. But uh, that, it should be nice as, you know, an alternative to the OSSC. It's a lot more automatic and it should be better at dealing with, you know, resolution switches, which means a lot of stuff on the PS1 will now be a lot more viable. <laughs> yeah, so... Stuff, you know, like Resident Evil or Silent Hill or Chrono Cross or Symphony of the Night. That sort of stuff should be very good for that. Of course, as you all know, we're not going to be getting to Symphony of the Night anytime soon. <laughs> Does anybody ever scratch their lip with their teeth? Like, is that just me? I mean, why why use my hands when I have perfectly good scratching bones right here? You said you might be interested in some playing some RPG Maker games for your Halloween stream. Maybe. I've also I've also discussed playing uh, Resident Evil or Silent Hill, S assuming the conditions line up, like. The retro tank should be here, but the question is if my uh, PS1 will be back by then. Silent Hill costs like stupid amounts of money on the internet these days, like, wow. Even the sequel on the PS2, and the PS2 is like the most popular game console literally in history ever. But I also guess it's a popular series, so who knows. It's always those kind of games that people can get you on. You know, that's... That's why I, I tend to buy a lot of, like, stupid games that nobody's ever heard of. I uh, can't multi-donate. That is, that is quite piteous. That is quite pitiable. Oh, what do we have here? What do we have who? A trilobite, if I'm not terribly mistaken. Yes, yes, very nice indeed. This is quite a beautiful specimen as well. White, you are to be congratulated. Well then, where to begin? Trilobites. Ah, yes. Trilobites were hard-shell segmented arthropods, which populated the Paleozoic... Paleozoic uh, seas long before dinosaurs existed. There were over 15,000 species of known trilobites, and more discovered each year, what what. This makes them the single most diverse group of extinct organisms ever. Amazing, truly remarkable, you know. They are, however, extinct. No living descendants whatsoever. The constant perils of nature are quite formidable indeed. Oh my, so sorry, old bean. Allow me to beg your pardon. I've been running off at the beak again. I tend to do that. You have our deepest, most profound gratitude. Might there be anything else you wish to donate? Uh. Mammoth. Ah. The day the remaining pieces of our prehistoric puzzle are found will be a joyous one indeed. Good luck to you. Oh, so he doesn't have a... He doesn't have anything to say about the mammoth there. Not until I get the whole thing, I guess. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have I donated this? I don't think I've donated this. Oh. I've, uh, yeah. I'm gonna read out the unique text. Wait till he says it. They're called beetles, what? The lugs of the insect world. Insects with armor plating on their backs, you know. Their armor, it opens up, revealing wings, featherless wings, which they used to fly. It's really quite unnatural. And have you seen the bee? According to all known laws of nature, it should not be able to fly. But of course the bee flies anyway. Because bees don't care what I think is impossible. And then there's that thin membrane-like covering where their heads connect to their bodies. Most foul. Oh, but I digress. You have our deepest, most profound... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have I already donated this? No, no, it's un it's new. Yeah, yeah, same text. Alright, well, there's that. We can donate fish. You know, this is where- this is where I'd put my fish. IF I COULD CATCH THEM! I hear a sneaker. Sup, hey Miles. How is it swinging? No! Ha, your motorcycle didn't get through my noise gate this time! So many weed! Yes. She's always wanted a lamentoid. Yeah, sure, I'll give you the freaking gyroid. <laughs> you want it. But uh, you might need a little bit of makeup to cover up your uh, polygon seam. Listen, I don't like to- I don't like to shame girls for their appearance, but... With all of it? Mm, yeah, sure. No. 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 Okay, this has got to be it.
I gotta pluck all these weeds, like... Like some sort of thing that you pluck. This has got to be it. Philip, honey, I'm gonna kill myself. What you're looking? I'm looking for the rock that produces the golden coin. So what's this kind of trash outfit? Yeah, alright. It's, it's more pink than red, really. Oh wait, hang on. I just realized it's, it's Saturday, isn't it? Something should be happening here in a little bit. So uh, I need to make sure I play until that. So I may stall for time. I gotta pluck all these weeds anyway. Ah no, mosquito! No! Ah, now I can go up here, undetected. Okay, well... First, I guess I should store some things in mine house. I'll rotate this chair. Were they hard to see on CRTs back in the day? Almost certainly. Okay. We got the third one here. We also got that, so I can now live in a Japanese home, like the weeb that I am. I can dance. In a land underneath. Okay, I got a stone couple. Okay, I can have stone hinge. And a glow clock. Ah. Interior design.
Okay, now I need to send every... Every fossil in the known universe. tedious process. Trust me, Broad, I ain't too happy to see you either. Okay, now... Let's stall for some time by stalling for some money. Because time is money. And if you're wasting money, you're wasting time. Same bug. Oh wait, have I checked this one? I still haven't gotten that yet. Mmm. Delicious. And so nutritious. There it is. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's swing by Nook, Nook County up here, sell some of these fruit. Dustin, you don't do the whole digging trick for hitting the rocks. Sometimes I do, and then sometimes I get really lazy and I don't. When you've hit every other rock in town, you start to get a little sloppy. Oh, you spoil me, Nook. Pay off my debt in no time. I mean, I guess I am selling him fruit that he can literally just walk outside and, and get. Lamau, dude, you still have cranny. I've only played three other times. Superman solved my maze. My tree maze. Yeah, I think once you have gotten all the expansions for your house, you know, there's, there's less of a goal that you can strive towards. So it just becomes like, what am I getting all this? What am I doing all this for? <laughs> mm. 
Though I guess there's still things to see, things to collect, but you know. Yeah, Jennifer, I, I still think you're some kind of crazy lady for that. I can, I can only play... I can only keep up with, like, one. I haven't, I haven't played New Horizons in, like, probably two months. Like, if you think... If you think this is bad, if you think I left this one to rot, I haven't played New Horizons in very, very many long time. I should probably check in because, you know, it is the day of my start of existence. And they, they might give me something. I don't know. The anniversary of being alive. Okay, so hmm, what what can we do for 20 minutes? I mean, you know, I, I just feel like I should really take advantage of this opportunity since I am playing on a Saturday night. So it's just a Saturday night. get all the seashells no but I got I mean I probably could have stuffed some in the letters make another shirt design could Okay, that guy picked up on my noise gate. <laughs> cool vehicle. I can just feel your chest hair from here. So I wish I had a Pepsi. I'm sorry, Langton. Make a Pepsi shirt. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I see no reason why not. People who drive loud, obnoxious vehicles peeve me off too, do not worry. It, it's not even really like, you know, I'm... The only reason it really annoys me is because I'm streaming. <laughs> and I'm always conscious of whether it picks up on my microphone. Like, when your car from out there is as loud as my voice from right here, you might need a muffler or something. Okay, so I'm I'm looking at it right here. This this color palette should work. But I need to change the color of this to something else. So as to not interfere. Hmm, that's kind of purplish. Make it the classic Pepsi logo? If you if you'll link me to the classic Pepsi logo.
I was just going by the one I had over here. Okay, let's... Let's see, what does what a vintage Pepsi look like? Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I can make this work, but I don't think I can make the text legible. So let's, let's see here. It would be right about here. I mean, first, uh, let me get the high points. Okay, cool. Guy playing his radio so loud I can hear it. That man is going to have severe ear damage. Might not be perfect, but we can adjust it in a minute. Okay, now do that. Okay, now now for the red. The red's kind of the inverted. You know, the yin and the yang of the pep. So basically, I mean, if this had, if Animal Crossing had some kind of a, oh no, I messed up. We gotta go bald. Just trace the blue top. Yeah, but I can't like move it up here. It's the same line, but more vertical. Well, listen, I can just- I can just copy what's down there. Yeah. So it's like, basically, whenever the blue one goes up, this one goes down and vice versa. So, just create an outline here. Alright, that should be good. Okay, now, the text is blue. I'll see if I can do it. It, it, it might not be possible. Either that or it'll look like... Stinky. Gotta take artistic liberties. It is slight <laughs> it is slightly off center. Uh I could probably move it one to the right. You know, you know what they say. A noble spirit embiggens even the smallest Pepsi.
<laughs> make the E longer. I've already done all this. But hey, this will this will make it this will make it centered though. Like that. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, there you go. Pep. What would you like to call it? Alright, there we go. So, there should be some more seashells down here. New Coke. Our recipe now has urine. Wear the Coke shirt. Okay. Looks amazing. It's like the best clothes I've ever worn. Mosquito, please. I don't tell you how to live your life. Actually, no, that's exactly what I'm doing. Never mind. That's like the noise that the horse fly makes in SpongeBob. And it's just as dreadful here. Don't want to accidentally sell my shirt. I keep pressing start because in most games, start is, yeah, go ahead. But in this game, this game is backwards and wrong. It's like years of playing Sonic games on the Sega Genesis have failed me. I probably should have chosen something with the higher contrast. We can fix that later. Okay, so we got nine minutes. We got nine more minutes to kill. Let's see if we can find anything else to sell. Hmm, pardon me. It's them, it's them Pepsi burps. You know, that's what it does to you. I'm presently drinking Mountain Dew Hit Pepsi product. Ah. Uh, yes, of course. You know, that, that stuff that can power a light bulb for three hours.
I mean, look at it this way. If you drink Mountain Dew and survive, then you might get superpowers. And then you can join the Avengers. Whose house is it? Olivia. I see. She lives in that house. I've had a soda addiction for most of my life, so you know how it is. I mean, the thing is with me, is I, I don't feel like I have the uh, metabolism to keep up with it these days. I, I need to I need to cut out soft drinks entirely. And I feel like most of the time, most of the time I, I don't drink soft drinks. It's just, sometimes I get particularly lazy, and I'm just like, alright, what's in the fridge? And I'm like, a Pepsi? It'll have to do. No. No. I mean, you all know here on Dust and Stream, we are sponsored by Lipton Green Tea, Diet Green Tea trademark. So you can you can confirm that usually I'm not I'm not drinking sodas. Oh, that's right. This clock is this clock is fast, so I can just go ahead and do it now. I don't know. It's, it's weird because like my Wii, it the battery isn't dead. You know, it gets it keeps the time, but it like desyncs a little bit. Like it, it desyncs a few minutes over the course of a month or two. I don't I don't understand. Cool baby, I'm always catching new hipsters on the scene. My name's Toda Kike. But when I'm out here playing my tunes on Saturday nights, I go by K.K. Slider. I'm all about the music, man. I don't need fame or fortune. Commercialism is for squares. It's not my bag. Want me to jam for you? Oh yeah. Cool. If there's something you want to hear, just tell me the name of the tune and I'll jam. I'm talking about requests. Do you have a request? Not really. You tap for tunes? No problem. Dig this one, man. KK Etude. Is that how you say that? Et, etu, etu brute. I had to do something for a few minutes. What happened? I beat the game! Neat. They, they named they, they named the console after that guy. Except they also turned it into an impromptu dick joke. He never lived that one down. Uh, look, it's Bill. It's 
William. Ah, oh, it's the names we all know. Oh, it's the Simpsons. Uh, Satoru Iwata, rest in peace. This probably would have been, like, right around when he started being the president, if I'm not mistaken. Like, uh, because it doesn't... Doesn't Luigi's Mansion still have Yamauchi as the, you know, the main dude? <laughs> now do classical... Now do classical gas! I'm getting spawn camped by mosquitoes. So, this is what you do with this. Yeah, you pop in the song. Yeah, so here's all the songs you can get. There's a lot of them. Hopefully we can fill this out a little bit, but it might take quite a few Saturdays. Okay, well, let me log off then. Because I think that's enough for me. We have become the Pepsi. I can think of no fuller day. Saving a lot of data. Anyway, see you guys later. I'll have, uh, I'll have a regular stream soon, I hope. <laughs> Metroid Prime or something. Bye-bye.